Hi, I'm Naridan Sari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create an NFT game in Game Maker Studio. So without any further ado, let's begin. I just finished first part of the our NFT game that we we're gonna that we are gonna create together. Okay, and there is a lot of stuff. Not a lot, but there are some steps to do because Game Maker doesn't have all of all of those options for you. And we will add those functions to the Game Maker. So you know that all the NFT game is web web game. Okay, so we should create our NFT game for a web because all the tools most of the tools uh for nft and nft games is from the web and of course we could we can create a android a android and ios nft game but it take more step to do that and we need a server for that as well okay but for no for simplicity let's just create a web game and in that create a nft game okay so i will create it from scratch so click on new game maker language and no First of all, what we should do, we should create an extension because Game Maker doesn't have the tools for NFT games. I think in Unreal Engine you should create an extension. In Unity you should do that. No, none of them have have tools for NFT games. Not that I know of, of course. Maybe they, there is, but I don't know of. Maybe in Marketplace there is some tools for creating an NFT game, but I don't know about it. We want to create it from scratch in here, okay? So for that, you should create a extension. Right click and create an extension. I want to call it NFT in uppercase, okay? And first step, you should deselect everything but HTML5. If you don't know how you can create extension for HTML5, I did create three videos for HTML extensions, HTML5 extensions. And if you watch those, you know how you can manipulate map at least between Game Maker and the extension, right? And in here, we need a Java placeholder added and for no, that's all you need to do. But let's just deselect all of these, and after that, we're going to create our extension. Okay. Now that we create this, let's just save, right? Click on it, open it in the Explorer, and it create a .js file and .yy file. So let's just open up Visual Studio because we should write some code in JavaScript. It's not complex. I will show you all the details about them. Okay. Like we create a multiplayer game from scratch and you did see how much Node.js and JavaScript language is look like game maker language. They are both a lot similar to each other. So first of all, let's just create a function. I want to call this get all product. Okay. So I want to call this function get all product. I don't want nothing for input and because in this get all product we want to send a request to the blockchain and it may take some time to those data be received it takes a little time so we need a we need a way to send back those data when it's received in this extension right so this video is all about async event how we can send back to game maker from an extension for with a async event okay in here i want to just test something before we go to blockchain i want to use a function that is called let me show you fetch okay using the fetch api and what this fetch will do for us it will fetch some json from a url so for example this url that they, they give us in here and for this json i want to use our json for example it's just for example it's nothing to do with blockchain okay I want to use this JSON file that is in mysafeinfo.com. Okay? It's just for testing. We want to get all of this data and send it back to the game maker. There are a lot of API that give you JSON file. Like if you want to get the weather, you can do it. There is a lot of JSON API out there that you can register and use them. Okay. And right now I want to, for testing, I want to use this. I want to get all of this data from this site and receive it in our game maker. So first of all, let's just copy this code in here to use this fetch function. The fetch function is a function that all the new browsers like Chrome and Firefox support. So with this fetch, we can get any JSON data or any data, image or whatever. We can get it with this fetch function. And in here, you can see in JavaScript language, there is something that is called promise, promise, okay? And how this promise work? First of all, we say fetch this URL and when you get those data so it wait until we get those data in then so it's like our async network for example we send some data and we wait in our async network to receive whatever that uh, server want to send us right so in this fetch first of all it will try to get this data from this url and after it successfully receive it, it will go to this function that is then dot then dot then you can see it it, it is a promise you can search that and when it get the data we want we use dot json function on it and after that with console log we want to show it right there is another way to do it like this 
we can do it like this so we have a function so we can do whatever we want in here and there is a data for input in here okay it's just for testing if you don't get what i'm doing don't worry about it it's just for testing we want to get some data from this site okay that has name country host region and id okay so let's just copy and paste this url and in here just paste it here and now with that we can get all of those data and for testing we can say console.log and in here we want to log the data okay that is json before testing this code with game maker we can just copy and paste it in an html file let me show you how you can do that okay we can just create a folder here i don't want to change the name and in here create a text i want to call it my.html okay yes and let's just open it with our visual studio code open it and you can see there's nothing in there i want to create a tag in here it's just for testing right and in this script we can test our javascript code okay paste those code and save it now we can just open it and know that we open it nothing happened but if we go to tools more tools and developer option in here now you can see we get an array of five elements in them that is the uh, json we get the name we get the country and host and all, everything now we know that our code is working fine we're testing it with this .html file in this script tag right so now that we know our code is working let's just test it in game maker as well but before we go to game maker we know that in this then function in here we get the data successfully and in here we want to send this data to our game maker right because we are in extension right now how we can send it we can just use gms api okay dot okay and in here there is a function that called send async event social and in here we want to send back the data the important question that i know you know you have by now is that uh, where did i find this function if i search gms api can i find it no i can't if i search this i can't find it so how we can find those functions that we can use in our html5 extension in last video i did say that you can use whatever function that is in game maker but you can't do it you can't do it let me show you what you can do in here so for example we have this simple game let's just create a object i want to call it obj test in here let's just add a draw event and i want to say draw text on 10 and 10 just show nft for example whatever okay so we can build it after that change this option to html5 and after that just build it okay we want to build it not run it so package as zip and in here let's just save it on desktop i want to call it game or whatever it will save it and after that it open the folder that we saved it on okay and you can see that game.zip created for us let's just extract it and if we go inside you can see there is an html if you open it it will it will open up our game okay but we want to go to the source this for record i did name my uh, my project that we create with game maker for record okay just drag and drop it in visual studio code and you can see it's a mess right so what we can do about that there is a tools in internet that called beautifier okay if we open it and for example this one that they they remove all of the white spaces so it's so the space that it take is less than before so ctrl c to copy everything and paste it in here and beautify it and you can see it beautify it okay it's a javascript code Co select all and after that copy to clipboard after that just paste it here again and now you can see it's beautiful right but they changed the names so we can't find out what they are you don't know what is this variable what is this is this a function or what we don't know it but if we search for gms api you can see there are some functions ready for us to use it in our extension like send async event social like json encode like vs vs list find value vs list size debug message and all of that you can see it in here we want to use this send async event social so that's how we can find the functions for in our gms api so let's just close it now you know how did i find this send async event social okay so know that everything is okay in here let's just go to our game maker to our extension create our function and again we should copy this name paste it here here and for help as well nothing for input we nothing for input we don't nothing in return because we get all of these those data with us with an async event no why because in here we send async event back we didn't return return anything okay so in our object test let's just add a most event of global left press for testing right and in here i want to say get all products and know that we write this if we add an event for async 
social okay in here we should get the data and we get it with async load okay this async load is a map and we can get the data off of that but we don't know how it send it to us so first of all i want to use show debug messages in here and in here i want to show the async load how we can do that so for doing that we can use json encode and it will get ds map so if you want to see what is in the any map you can use json encode and it will convert it to an string and you can show it with show debug messages this time the ds map that we want to encode is async load okay we want to see what is inside this async load so we get all the data from that and after that let's just add it to a room wherever you want and after that let's just run it and now in here it's showing us the nft and after that let's just open up the developer tools i want to clear the console so you can see it clearly left click and first of all with that console like that we have in here it's just showing the data that is received and let me show you and after that with that show debug message that we had in game maker it will show us the whatever that is inside this map okay async load what is inside the async load and you can see all the data is in here you can see it's a big map that at the default key is our json file okay so let's just get that so with that we know that this async load is a ds map that has one key and it's called default and in that if we get the value of that default we get a json file so for that we can say ds map find value and we want to find the value in async load and the key let me show you again let's just close this and the key is default so let's just copy this and and paste it in here and let me again go here and you can see if we get the value of the key default it will give us from here to here okay let me make it a little bit bigger and now you can see if we get the value uh, the key the value of key default in here it will give us this okay and what is this it's a list okay you can see this is for list okay so this is a list of maps okay this is the a list of maps in this case five map you can see it in here this is a list of five map so first of all let's just get the first item in the list so how we can do that first of all we should put this default in our uh, variable so whatever you want to call it you can do it so for example let's just call it default is equal this and after that with ds list find and in here we want to find in default the first item okay and we, with that we get the first item in our list and let's just put it in a variable i want to call it first item equal to this no this first item is a map you know it that this list contain five map so we want to get the first item in this list and the items in this list is a map so with map we can show it okay so we can say ds map find value and in here we want to find value in this first item and let me show you the first the first item in this default list is this map in here from here to here okay so this is the first item that is a map and inside this map there are some key value pair so for example this name if you want to get name we can say ds map find value with the key name and it will give us edward the elder okay so let's just copy this key in here key is important so name and in here the key that we want to find is name and let's just put it in a variable again i want to call it first item name okay equal to this after that we can just show it with show message this time okay and this first item name and with that we show the first name so let's just run our game to see if it's working or not if we click and it will show us the name of the first item edward the elder okay whenever we click it will get that in game maker and it will show it to us right so in this video we learn how we can create an extension how we can use functions in javascript for example this fetch function that we did talk about and how we can use promises and after that how we can send async event social to our game maker from our html5 extension and after that we did go to game maker and in async social we get that data and we get the values that is inside them and we show the first name for the first item so let me again go here and you can see the next item the name of the next item is atelstan okay so let's just get that for testing right so we want to get the second item so we put one in here and let's just run it and when we click it's uh, atelstan okay so 
this was a necessary step for creating NFT game. Just have some practice with that because in next video, we will try to create actual NFT game. Before ending this video, I want to thank my Patreon supporter. I just get new Patreon supporter that I want to thank him a lot. I will put his uh, name and his picture in all of my videos from now on. Thank you very much, man. And please, 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 if you want to help me, hit that like button. It helps me a lot. It, it motivates me to create more tutorial like this. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.